Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I kind of wanted to go over some recent photo book pickups that I have here and just talk about them a little bit and show you guys what I got because I got some pretty cool things in my opinion and I just thought it'd be fun to talk about them. Bandit, would you like to greet everyone first? Say hello. First photo book I have here is called Somewhere in Florida by Jesse Joseph. This book is a curation of images captured by Jesse documenting his time in Florida, someplace that he calls his second home in Anna Maria Island. I first found Jesse online on Instagram and I was really drawn to the color usage in his photos. Everything in here really just screams summer and I love the way that it captures light in his pictures. Photographs in this book are very vibrant and I love how sharp each image is. That's something that really blew me away first looking through this book. Every image is just so sharp and detailed. You can really tell how much this photographer loved this location. Um, it really shines through in every image and there's so much warmth and sunshine in each image. The colors are truly beautiful and vibrant and I love his choice of pairing between each image on each spread. Highly recommend checking this one out. As of filming this video, it is still available. It's limited to 50 copies. Um, so hop on it now if it's still available upon posting because it's certainly worth it. In the description below, I'll link um, the link to purchase this and I'll also post a link to his Instagram. I'll have every Instagram linked below for all of these artists so that way you can go and check them out if you would like. Next book I want to talk about is called An American Mile. This is by Kyle McDougall. I've followed him for a long time, last couple years, and I have learned so much from his videos. He shares such a wealth of knowledge with everyone and I just, it's awesome. Like I've learned so much. I don't think I've ever been excited for a photo book more than I was excited for this. It was a long time in the making and it was so worth the wait. They're still available and I'll link them below. There's also some postcards and a small print included in the book, which I think was really nice. The idea of postcards was like a genius idea. It really matches all the subject matter in this book. He has a collection of videos over on his channel documenting his time photographing Route 66, which is basically um, what is in this book right here and I just remember watching those videos years ago and just absolutely loving the content and just being so inspired to take a road trip like that myself. Another thing I think is really awesome about this book is there's an index in the back uh, showing each location that he took each photo which I think is so nice of him to do like there's so much gatekeeping of locations um, in the photography community, which on one hand I understand, but on the other I f just feels kind of silly. I don't know. I just I really appreciate that he was willing to share all these locations in the book. There's also an essay on the back by Dr. Kyler Zellini um, called All Roads West that is really interesting. And yeah, I just really love this book. Certainly one of my favorites. The quality is fantastic and you can just tell that a lot of love went into each and every image in this book. There are such beautiful pastel colors and carefully crafted compositions. But yeah, absolutely check out this book if you are interested because it's great. <laughs> Another book I have is called The Book of Answers by Will Matsuda. And this book I was drawn to for the subject matter. Basically, it documents a volcanic eruption and the inhabitants surrounding in the towns like surrounding the eruption. I think it's really interesting the choice of images here because there's a mix between the dark um, colors in the volcanic eruption and then the next page it'll be like really light colors um, with grassy fields full of life and animals and I just think the uh, choices of the contrast were really interesting and the colors are very beautiful there's like it seems like there's emotion in every single image which I think is super interesting and it's a small book only 24 bucks highly recommend I got this from 
pomegranate pressed. I got this book and also the next one I'm going to be talking about from the same publisher, which I will link below. Highly recommend checking them out. Um, they have some great collections on there. Yeah, I will link this below and I will also link Will's Instagram below as well. This next book, um, <laughs> this next book is called Frank by Matthew Leafhey, I think is how you pronounce his last name. I, sorry if that's wrong. This book was a trip, that's for sure. <laughs> I remember seeing Pomegranate Press uh, post about this on their Instagram when it first came out or when it was about to come out and just the images that they shared were so like interesting and captivating. I was really drawn to the colors and uh, the detail in each image and most importantly the subject matter. Basically this book is about a man named Frank, someone who is a nudist and exhibitionist and um, quite the character to say the least. I didn't really know what I was getting into when I bought this, <laughs> but it's certainly a unique collection of photographs very well done um there's so much red saturation throughout this whole book and i think that's super interesting it truly tells a story of this guy named frank um i love the pairing of images that are in this book and it's just such a basically matthew documents frank in his home frank used to be an interior designer and now he just like lives in Florida, like living his best life basically. His home in the background really reflects Frank's personality, so it complements all these portraits. It's really interesting. There's definitely a lot of sexual material in this book, so if that's not something you're into, um, be aware of that. It was only $14, which was crazy to me. I mean, it's a small book, but like very high quality. It just seems like such an eccentric and fascinating character, uh, especially through these images. It's just, I feel like Matthew really documented the type of guy that he is. Not that I've met him before, but like I can just, you can just tell from these images the type of guy that he is. And it's so interesting to me. Definitely a great way to document somebody's life and their personality. And I would highly recommend checking this one out. Just, you know, be aware of the very very explicit sexual material that's in this book so you know if that's not your thing maybe don't check it out <laughs> that's all i have for today uh, let me know if you like this type of video i am obsessed with buying photo books they're like my favorite thing um so i love being able to share them with you guys and yeah everything will be linked below and definitely check out all these photographers they all have stellar work and highly recommend checking them out and yeah I think that's it for this video see you guys in the next one bye somewhere in this video is a hidden roll of film Comment below if you find it and you will win absolutely nothing except being substantially better than everyone else.